Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 18th of December 1892, Russian composer Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky's ballet The Nutcracker received its premiere performance at the Marinsky Theatre in St. Petersburg. Tchaikovsky wrote The Nutcracker as a commission for the director of the Imperial Theatres, following the success of his previous ballet The Sleeping Beauty. The story chosen by the choreographer was an adaptation of an 1816 story by German author E.T.A. Hoffmann called The Nutcracker and the Mouse King. It's widely recognised that Tchaikovsky wasn't particularly keen on writing the ballet, but accepted the commission anyway. Composed in the Romantic style, the ballet features a number of widely recognised pieces of music. One of the most famous is The Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, which was specifically written to make use of a new instrument Tchaikovsky had discovered in France, called the Celesta. He also incorporated toy instruments into the Christmas party scene. Although the score received good reviews, responses to the ballet itself were mostly negative. Tchaikovsky therefore chose to extract eight pieces of music to form the Nutcracker Suite, which could be performed in a formal concert setting. Standing apart from the ballet, the suite garnered hugely enthusiastic reviews and became a popular feature in concert performances. Although the ballet itself continued to be performed on occasion, it wasn't until the New York City Ballet presented a new staging in 1954 that it secured wider popularity. Performances of the Nutcracker are now said to generate 40% of the ticket revenues for American ballet companies. 